Hello. So we're going to get started on the neck and shoulders for our llama today. I'm doing a gold one, I've decided. So here is um, out to round four. You've in increased to 24 stitches at this point. So round five is to SC evenly around in the front loops only. So you see the, the two loops, you're going to only work in the front one. And you're going to do that all the way around. So once you've made it all the way around, um, you're going to have something that looks like this. Um, it's going to have made a sharp corner around this edge. And the inside of your piece is going to be what you usually consider the front side and the top of what is now your llama neck, it will go down working this way. The top is the back side. So in order um, for the next round to work, the outside um, or the wrong side of the work needs to be facing out. Um, this keeps our loop stitches on the outside because loops are always on the wrong side of the work. So the next round is to loop stitch evenly around. So a loop stitch, you insert the hook, wrap it over your finger, go over under and pull through. And there's a close up video of this um, that I will post on this page also um, that I did earlier that might be a little easier to see. So you're going to loop stitch all the way around and as you can see this keeps the loops on the outside of the work. So now we're working with the wrong side facing out, the right side facing in, and we're going to keep working um, with it kind of inside out for the rest of the neck. So you're going to um, loop stitch all the way around the outside of this and then work two rounds evenly of SCs. Um, and then you're going to repeat those three rounds three more times. So. I am going to leave you and we'll catch up when we have our three sets of three rounds that should be at round uh, 15. See you there. Okay, so we went ahead and did rounds 6 through 15. So round 15 ended on a loop stitch row. So now you should have four rounds of loop stitches with two rounds of SCs in between each one. And this is going to give it that nice layered effect um, at the very end. So round 16 is an increase round. So you're going to do three SCs. One, two, three. And then an increase. and repeat that all the way around. Round 17 is just an SC evenly around, uh, which I'm sure you can do. So we did our increase round, and then round 17 was an, ev an SC evenly around. So we went ahead and did that. The round 18 is the first round we're gonna do that doesn't have loop stitches all the way around. So now we're starting the chest um, chest hair of your llama, if you will. So we're going to do 15 loop stitches around. Okay, so after round 18, uh, round 18 has 15 loop stitches, 
and then 15 SCs around it. So we're starting to see this come together. So here's our neck fur or hair, and then this is going to be chest hair. And this area is going to just slowly get a little bit narrower um, until you have only seven loops at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you do um, up to around 26. That's a couple more increased rows, and um, two, the last two will be um, SCs evenly around, and I will see you at round 27 for um, starting the legs. Okay, we're back. We're finished up to round 27. So we've got a nice uh, kind of chest triangle of hair and then the, the neck that goes all the way around now. So we've increased to 42 stitches all the way around. And now we're going to do the, the legs. And this involves us kind of splitting this in half um, and doing them one leg at a time. And I'll walk you through that real slow, I promise. So we're going to SC10. And that brings us right to the middle of our chest so that our legs cut it right in half in the right place. So then we're going to chain three and skip 21 stitches. Twenty one. So then in that first stitch after the twenty first stitch. I'm going to slip stitch. Okay, so you've got something that looks a bit like this. Now, we're going to turn around and go the other way. So, we've been going counterclockwise this whole time. We're going to switch back to going clockwise and your fingers will be will remember um, the good old days. So, now we're going to do 21 stitches um, working clockwise around um, and that'll get us back to where we started over here so My hook is very squeaky, I apologize. He just has a lot to say. Okay, so we have our 21 stitches back to where we started. And now we're going to do... Um, across these three chains here, one, two, three, we're going to SC into those also. And you need to make sure that you don't SC around it because you need the back side of the chain. Um, we'll need the back side to work the other leg. So we're just going to put in one. And this is a little hard to do, so I Sometimes we have a little trouble getting that through there. Two. And three. So now you have 24 stitches all the way around on a leg. So now we're going to work two rounds evenly. And see how I just kind of skipped, jumped right over there to the first stitch, just like the continuous rounds before. We're going to work two rounds evenly on the leg, going working around it like this. So, do two rounds, and I'll meet you 
at round 31. So we're going to decrease um, every third round going down until we get to 12 stitches. So I'll walk you through for, through the first decrease. The first set of decreases is in round 31, and it's 6SC and then a decrease. So it's only three, a three-stitch decrease in each round. So now you've gone from 24 stitches around to 21 stitches around. And you'll do two rows of SC with 21 stitches and then a decrease, two rows with 18 stitches and then a decrease, two rows with 15 and a decrease, and then two rows with 12 stitches. And then you will stop and I will meet you there to close up our leg. Okay, so we've done all of our decreases on our first leg. Is what it looks like from the front and then all we have to do is a set of decreases all the way around six six um, decreases so we'll go ahead and do those And so all we have left is six stitches here at the top, and we'll go ahead and just cut this off, pull it tight, and then we're going to use a needle and thread it through the end to close that up. I like to thread through the back loops only of the remaining stitches. So oh, come on, focus. There it goes. And then when you pull it tight, your foot is closed. So and then you just weave in your ends. And what we're going to do next is stuff just this leg and the top part of the neck here through this hole. So get out your stuffing and just kind of start working that in there. And you're going to want your legs to be stuffed pretty firmly because they are going to hold up your um, llama. So. So just finish stuffing that and I'll see you to do the next leg. Okay, so we've stuffed our leg and our neck and now we have um, a nice little leg hole that needs a leg on it. So we're going to start in the first stitch um, working clockwise, the first stitch after the chains and do an SC join. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to work 21 stitches, or 20 stitches around to the other side. So there will be 21 all the way around here. And then work those three stitches in the other side of this chain. 
So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that because it does look a little funny. And this gets a little tricky working around that other leg. So you'll, you'll find a way to do it. Um, my way is to crochet as far as I can without turning it over and then I use the other leg to kind of hold on to the work. I'll show you. So like getting right in here to these stitches is real hard because you're still going to want them to face this way. You don't want to do them this way or else then your leg would look kind of goofy. So in order to keep this going in the round, we have to work around kind of the outside edge of the leg here. Look at this. And then we're going to work in those the backs of those three chains. and three and so we have our 24 stitches all the way around because our SC join makes a nice stitch right here so just like the last time we're going to um, not slip stitch to join the round we're just going to work in continuous rounds and um, here's a trick I always take the tail from my SC join and I stuff it down in there <laughs> um, because then I don't have to, it doesn't get in the way for me um, and then I don't have to weave it in at the end. So we're going to whoop, see this angle is a little challenging. So you'll, the nice thing is the higher up on the leg you get, or rather the lower on the leg you get, um, the less it's a problem. So it's really only hard these first couple rounds. So you're going to SC around, evenly around again those 24 stitches um, and then around one more time. So you'll do rows 1, 2, and 3 in just SCs. And then it starts decreasing exactly the same way the other one did. It'll do um, a decrease of 3 stitches and so then you'll do 2 a decrease round and two rounds um, with 21 stitches in them. Then you'll do a decrease round and do two rounds with 18 stitches in them. And then a decrease round and two rounds with 15 stitches in them. And then a decrease round and two rounds with 12 stitches in them. And that is where I will catch back up with you. So finish up your um, other leg down to um, round 16 and I will see you there. Alrighty, so we got our leg done down to the last round. Um, and since obviously we don't have access to this one from the other end the way we did this leg, this one we're going to stuff from this side. So I'll try to do this on camera. I usually hold these against myself and that helps a little bit. And if you want to, you can stuff it a little earlier so you have a bigger hole to work with. Um, I'm just impatient. So, and once again, you're going to want to stuff this one real firmly too, um, like the other one, because this is going to hold up your llama. Get a little bit more here. Okay, so then this one works exactly like the other one. You're just going to do the six decreases around. 
So six decreases around and then um, cut your yarn and weave or and pull your tail through um, the, la the back loops of the last six stitches. And you will have done your front legs. Oop. So there's your six stitches. Yeah, there we go. And just cut that off, and you will have your front legs. So this front piece is the chest, and then right here is where you'll attach the body when we get to that step. So. On to the next step.